What's up guys, it's iWinning, back with another video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the new formation, it's called 6-2, the new goal line. The play call is going to be guts, and this is going to be a run defense for quarterback sneak and uh, halfback toss. It's also really good defense for all the other runs in the formation. I'm also going to show you guys the running back, uh, which way they're running tell in this uh, video. So if you guys are new, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you did appreciate it. The video is going to be a lot longer than usual, but let's get into it. So what we're going to do to set this up is we're going to press, shift our linebackers left, and we're going to blitz all the linebackers, and we're going to blitz all the safeties. It's going to be kind of an all-out blitz when you know that they're running the goal line. So when they're at the one-yard line, most of the time they're not going to try and pass the ball. They're going to try and run it. So they're going to run sneak or toss, either way. Um, what I'm going to show you guys is both ways to run it. Now, if you know that they're... Well, I mean, I'll tell you in a little bit how you can tell. But when they're running quarterback sneak to the right, like I said, you're going to press, shift your linebackers left, blitz all the linebackers. And what you're going to do is you're going to stand behind the right of screen defensive tackle. And what that's going to do is that sometimes this defensive tackle, he'll kind of whiff and kind of go outside the quarterback. So what your user is going to be there is going to be to clean up the play. You don't have to be there every single time. In mud, it's, it's more consistent than it is in practice mode. Because practice mode is kind of fluky, as you'll see throughout this video. But uh, I wanted to show you guys a large chunk of the this defense working. And sometimes it won't work. But not all defense is always is going to work. It's not always going to be 100%. But it's really consistent enough to me say that this is the best goal line defense for quarterback sneak and uh, halfback toss. You're going to get them for negative yards. or no you gain every single time. But like I said... If you stand right behind this defensive tackle and you kind of just run down, like I said, here's the play that he whiffs, and you're there to clean the play up. Most of the time, if you do, sometimes he'll fight, and you can hit him, and he'll fumble the ball. So here, what I'm going to show you guys now is, is the quarterback sneak to the left. Now here, I'm going to tell you guys the tell, though. If they flipped any of the runs to the left, which some of them they can't, but most of them they can, you can see that this linebacker's angle is going to go outside the left tackle, or and it's going to be outside the tight end a little bit more. It, when he runs it to the right, the angle is going to be straight down on the detac on the left tackle. But you see here, Lamar Jackson kind of fights for the play, but I'm going to show you guys how to uh, make it more consistent in one second. So... But I mainly wanted to show you guys the tell. You kind of sat there for a long time. So, you could do two things, basically. You could either uh, stand in between the center and the left ta left guard. I mean, the center, sorry. Stand between the 2D tackles over the center. And uh, kind of like, you don't have to engage him, but just stand in front of him. And what that's going to do is that he is going to, like, the center is going to whiff, and the left defensive tackle is going to hit the quarterback just about every time. If you have two fast defensive tackles, which they could be ends, and if they have high hit power, the quarterback is going to fumble a majority of the time. If, if, if he doesn't get, like, if you gang tackle him, he's going to fumble a lot. But if you one-on-one -on -one tackle him, sometimes he, uh, most of the time he's not going to get this animation. And my, I rarely got this animation. Sometimes if you had a, really bad tackling player with now speed or excel uh he sometimes would fall forward but if he's like nick bosa joey uh uh um julius peppers you know just people with like high speed and tackling and like hit power semi good hit power he's gonna wrap the quarterback just about every time but so quarterback sneak to the right you're gonna hover over to the the right defensive tackle stand over top of him and then the quarterback sneak to the left you're going to hover in between the two defensive tackles and kind of just hold the center and so that the left defensive tackle can come in uh but like i said the, the tell is on the linebacker on the left of screen when you shift him to the left he's his angle is going to go out wide to the wider to the left if you're running to the left if they're running to the right it's going to be inside straight down like this so you can see it goes back and forth because i'm flipping the play they're going to run to the right now you see He's got to fumble the ball. Like I said, they, sometimes they'll go forward and he'll fumble the ball. And you'll get, you can either pick it up or sometimes they get lucky and they get it. But most of the time, he's going to get hit behind the line of scrimmage for either no gain or a fumble or turnover or whatnot. So just depends on what kind of players you have. But you're going to want faster players with high speed in Excel and uh, a lot of hit power. So you can see sometimes this video, Lamar Jackson and Mark Ingram are going to fight a lot harder than normally they should. 
But we ran this verse, me and my buddy, we labbed up in Mutt, and I played some season games, and I didn't get scored on at all uh, when they ran goal line. I hit him in the backfield just about every single time. Uh, but we, they, I was, we were using uh, Eric Dickerson, Barry Sanders, you know, uh, Jim Brown, all the new dudes. We can get them out of their zone fairly easily if they're going to try and run this because uh, we're going to have a lot of people coming in at the, at the running back or the quarterback. So, we, you know, we can – Forced turnover or a no yard, no yards gained. So, or so, when they run toss, the toss defense is really spectacular. Um, mainly, when I went was labbing this up, I wanted to have a defense that would stop the quarterback sneak and the toss just about every single time, which it does a really good job at stopping both of them almost every time. I mean, sometimes they're gonna get lucky. I mean, you see throughout this video, I wanted it to be a little like a little bit longer of a video so you can see sometimes. It's not always going to work, but it's most of the time it's going to work just about every time. And, and sometimes when it doesn't work, it's more fluky. And me kind of sitting here trying to explain what's going on, what I'm doing in the video. So if you set it up fairly quick, you're going to get it to stop just about every time. Now, if you guys are new to my channel and if you haven't subscribed, we post some of the best defensive tips in the game on this channel. Most of them are going to be blitzes. Sometimes we're going to sprinkle in some run defense. Um... I wanted to get the quarterback. I don't like when people run goal line on me. and I feel like the other goal line defenses were kind of like hit or miss. I rarely anymore, I feel like they kind of maybe patched them. I didn't hit the quarterback about every time like I used to. Um, this, I feel like I hit the quarterback every time. I hit the running back on toss every time. Uh, the other runs, I stop them just about every time. So it just this is what I'm doing. Now I shift my linebackers to the left. I blitz all of them. I press my defense. It's going to bring out the safeties a little wider, and then I blitz the safeties, okay? A little bit later in the video, I'm going to show you guys can send less people, but we're going to see here, you can see here's the tell again. Look, just look at the linebacker's angle, you can tell. The tell is really easy to tell. I'm really good at finding stuff like this, where it's like a glitch in the game that I don't know how it made it past the dev, dev team to get into the game, but they slip through pretty frequently. Um... But you see here, quarterback sneak, gets hit, you know, in the backfield, no gain, you know, so fairly simple. This part of the video, what I'm going to show you guys is, uh, you can send less people, okay? So, what I'm going to sh show you is that you don't have to send as many people as I show them throughout the video, but, uh, you know, it just doesn't really, it just kind of like, it's up to you what you want to do. Now, I guess what I want to say, I did this on purpose so that you guys can see. Uh, so if you mess up the pinch, like if you pinch the linebackers, and you don't, you have to reset the play because you see how I move him over here. I click off, he runs back, and he runs back over to the right again. So you just need to reset your defense if you mess up or call timeout. And then uh, shift your linebackers left, press, blitz the, all the linebackers, blitz all the DBs, which you're going to put your best hitting and safeties in this formation. And you're gonna to want to put your best linebackers outside. The best pass rushing or coverage linebackers outside with good block shed and hit power. Same thing with your defensive lineman up at the four. You can have your best linebackers at defensive end, like Lawrence Taylor, Clowney, uh, all those guys, Kevin Green, whoever you want. Uh, you can have Ray Lewis and uh, the other, uh, I can't remember the linebacker's name, but he's a new middle linebacker. Uh, you can have him on the outside, you know, you could, so just up to you who you want to put there. Um, but you're going to see, I can send less people. I can send as little as two or three people defending each of these runs, quarterback sneak or the toss. So here, like I said, the reason why you stand behind the right defensive tackle is sometimes he's going to whiff, right? If you know he's running sneak to the right, which you should, if you know he's running to the right, just stand over that right defensive tackle. If he's going to run to the right, if he doesn't run sneak, just shoot and contain the edge. And when I show you this toss defense, you're going to see that it does, you're going to have two guys free, basically, at the toss guy every single time. And sometimes they're gonna, one of them is going to get blocked and the other one's going to come free, but they both are going to get really fast sheds or they're going to hit the, the toss to hit the running back on the toss before he can even make a move. So it's like sometimes you'll even get a fumble if they have an enforcer. Like if you get Pat Tillman and Jamal Adams on the edges, 
You have Ray Lewis at the left of screen linebacker spot when you shift him left, so it's going to be the right of screen linebacker. You put him over there, you, sometimes you're going to get a fumbles everywhere. So you see here, I'm going to spy everybody. I'm just going to stand over this right defensive tackle. I clean it up, set two people out to sneak, and we hit them in the backfield. Not many people are going to show you two-man run defense to top the quarterback sneak, okay? And I'm going to show you guys three-man toss defense on either side as well in a little bit. So we are going to go over the toss defense now. Same defense is set up. You're going to press the defense, shift the linebackers left, blitz everybody, okay? Now you can tell if they're running to the left or to the right if you look at that linebacker. Now sometimes if you don't re-blitz the left of screen linebacker, when they run to the right, the, the, his angle disappears. When they run to the left, his angle appears. So it's like he's not his angle. If they run to the left, isn't going to be there. If they run to the right, it'll be there. I re-blitzed him, so it's going to show every time. You don't have to. If you don't blitz him, sometimes he doesn't play the run as good. So that's why I just blitz him every time because the run tell is on the linebacker already. But if you don't blitz the linebacker and you want to put him in zone, the run tell will be on that safety as well. So um, same defense, toss defense. You can see. We're coming through every time. Negative four yards, negative five yards, negative six yards, just depending how fast they get to him and how lucky he gets. Most of the time, he's not going to get so lucky. You know, unless they have the one of those new uh, Mott 100 players or NFL 100 running backs that break every single tackle in the game. I feel like we, were, me and my buddy were laughing this up before I took it in the seasons. I knocked his running back out of the zone almost the first or second play of the game every single time. Uh, when I ran goal line. I mean, if they get to the... Most of the time, if they're going to get in the goal line, sometimes they're going to score if it's on a long run, but if they get him activated and he's near the goal line, you have a high success rate of knocking him out. But I feel like if I'll post some other run defense down, down the line out of, like, 3-4 odd or 3-4 bear, that you'll be able to get them out of the, the zone fairly quick. But as you see throughout the entire video so far, only but a handful of times we haven't stopped them. Just about every single time we've stopped him for no gain or loss of yards. The toss has been negative yards every time. I think one or time, one or two times throughout this video, toss, maybe he'll get free. But he just gets a lucky. Like, here he got lucky. If that's Tillman, he's a, that's an enforcer hit state. Uh, he's not, and, I mean, if you have a secure tackler on him, you can click on and just tackle him. Tackle him. You don't have to hit stick him. Just tackle him. You know what I mean? And then next down, he's got to try and pass the ball from the six yard line or he's gonna try and go back to I form close or wing flex or wing tight there's other run defenses for those you know but run to the left toss to the left toss to the right negative five yards negative six yards quarterback sneak no gain fumble no gain fumble maybe they'll get a couple yards sometimes but it stops the quarterback sneak just about every time and it stops the toss just about every single time now uh I've, it's the same setup, guys. All you gotta do is press, shift your linebackers left, and blitz all the linebackers. It's really easy to set up. You just have to scrape which way you see that they're gonna run, and it'll tell you which way they're running every time. Like I said, if they're running to the left, the linebacker angle will go outside the tight end. If he's running to the right, he'll go straight down onto the left tackle. So you know if he's running to the left, just stand over the right ta the right defensive tackle and just shoot down on the sneak. Or shoot outside and try and contain the toss or any outside run. Same thing on the left side. Stand over the center if he's running to the left. And then just shoot outside to the left and contain the runs to the left. You know, just try and take away the inside runs and make them go outside. If if you scrape, if you, most of the time they're not going to have any holes to run in the middle. So they're going to have to go outside. If you scrape good enough... You're going to hit him for, you know, no gain, no gain, maybe a yard, but most of the time it's going to be no gain. Like I'm seeing, I'm showing you guys the tell again. You just pay attention to the video. You can see I'm trying to show you guys everything possible. So toss to the right. I sent three people. I left the blitzing linebacker, and I, then I put him in a hook zone because the, I just leave him sometimes in a blitz just to see which way they're going to run. If, I, they're blitz, if they're going to run to the left, I'll just blitz everybody on the left and then just... I don't got to worry about the right side, but most of the time, if they're going to run the ball. Not very many people are going to run pass plays out of goal line versus this. If they do, they're going to get sacked. If you blitz everybody and you user the right player, their first read, they're going to get sacked. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Just If, they, if you feel like they're going to pass, uh, 
just pa pass commit. You could pass commit every single play with this run defense, and it doesn't matter. They're going to come through and hit the dude every time. It doesn't matter. So it's all up to you how you want to do it. Just we go back and rewatch this video. Like, but the setup is really easy. Go into practice mode. Just go <laughs> pick goal line. Pick quarterback sneak toss. Uh, six two. You know, it just we went over the play at the beginning. Just run the defense like this. Shift your linebackers to the left. Blitz them all. Press the defense. Then blitz all the linebackers. Now, uh, then the run the run tell on this is really good as well. It's super glitchy. I don't know how they get past all the developers in this game. All the glitches in the game. That shouldn't be in the game, but it is. So, I mean, we're going to use it to our advantage. So, which way we know we need to go. It doesn't matter what they do. It's going to tell you which way you need to run to stop the run. So, and if they're passing the ball, then just pass commit and send everybody. And you can send the inside line. You can spy the outside defensive ends at, and then the outside linebackers you can put them in hard flats you can man up to the safeties uh you know it just dep just depends what you want to do but you're going to hit the your opponent in the backfield just about every single time for negative yards with this defense it's really good um like i said me and my buddy we, we lab this up uh in mutt so i know it works in mutt it's going to help you guys stop runs out of goal line i don't know if you guys are having trouble out of it i just get annoyed sometimes when they try and run goal line and the other goal lines don't work that well anymore you just kind of got to pray this you don't have to pray i promise you you're going to stop your opponent when they run goal line just about every time i feel fairly confident saying that it's going to stop them just about every time they're going to have to get really lucky they got to put a four leaf freaking clover up their butt <laughs> and pray to the Madden guys that they can get a broken tackle or juke your entire team out to get a touchdown, you know. But most of the time, you're going to hit them for negative yards, and then you're going to force them to pass. And then you're going to win in that situation because then you can go to your pass defense, and it's harder to score in the red zone. You're going to make them take a turnover, or you're going to make them take three, and then you can go down and score seven. So, again, if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash a like on it. Give me a thumbs up on it and uh, comment below what you guys think. Let me know how it works for you in game, uh, in seasons or weekend league, whatever you use this in. If it's a friend in CFM, whatever. Um, I've blabbed it up for you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys haven't, man, I appreciate if you guys took the time to watch some of my old videos on the channel. Like, we have some of the best blitzes in the game that haven't been patched yet. That's why I haven't updated them. They're all like super good. Either at a big dime, three four bear, three four on, uh, two two three six. Like we have the best blitzes in the game on the channel, hands down. If you guys haven't checked out my two new formations that I posted, check them out, man. They are really good. Also, the nickel triple is what I'm running right now, and it's really really good. Uh, and also the uh, two four five odd is really good as well. Um, some tinkering to that formation I'm going to be posting soon, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did smash a like on it comment below i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible someone else doesn't answer the question but all right guys i'll have to see you in the next video peace out